Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to day two of my seven day £50 a week challenge through Sainsbury's. This is me in my kitchen with good old Phoebe. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, you're about to go to bed in a minute, aren't you? Yeah. But what am I making tonight? Can you show me? I've got, I've got something great here. Right. What have you done with the recipe? Yeah. You put it in the saucepan? Yeah. Okay. Right, we're making spaghetti carbonara tonight. Nice and simple and easy. All of the ingredients are here. Phoebe, what is that? Um, um, mushrooms. Um, mushrooms. And what is that big thing there? What's that? Um, onion. Wicked. I'm going to clip my fingers. So hit pause, write all the ingredients down. Or if you've got a recipe card, just... Okay, refer to that. It's going to be super easy this one. All I've got to do first of all is chop up and wash my mushrooms, uh, my that onions. Cheese? That is cheese mate and we're going to grate that and also my courgette. The rest is just going to fall into and place. Milk. And milk. Yeah. And I need a wee. And you need a wee. She needs a wee. She's going to go to bed. I'm going to get on and prepare these vegetables so when you see me in a minute then I'll be prepared and we'll get cooking. Wicked. Right guys, she's actually had her wheat and I've managed to prepare the majority of my ingredients except she has hidden the cheese. Where have you hidden the cheese? Let me see it. Put it in that saucepan with the recipe and the cream in there, okay? So I need to grate that. Can you just put that down there, mate? Okay. What did I do to the ham? Cut up. I did cut it up. What about the onion? You did cut them up. I did cut up the onion as well. What about the courgette? You did cut them up. I didn't cut them. I got a grater like this and worked my way along. I basically cut the courgette in half, cut the nasty bits off either end, and slice it down to make these thin pieces like so, okay? So that's what you need to do with your courgette. Mushrooms gave them a darn good wash because there was loads of soil in there. It was like I literally just pulled them straight from my garden. So I chopped those up nice and fine, peeled them as well. So they're there. And that's pretty much it, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to wait for her to go to bed, and then we will cook this thing. Wicked. Right here then guys, let's crack on with this recipe. I've got a pan of water on to boil there. That is the same pan that Phoebe was hiding things in, but I'm glad to say it's just water in there. But I did find a piece of garlic, which I've taken out and finely chopped. So please do that. Got myself a saucepan there, nice and big onto heat. What we're going to do is pour some olive oil in there first of all, and continue to heat that to get ready for our spaghetti. And then we're just going to chuck it all in, like a cat. Oops. Right here, let's chuck some olive oil in there. Not too much. As you can see, it's nice and hot because it's starting to sort of spread her out already. And we'll get our onions in there straight away. Brilliant, so they're in there. Let them cook away for a good five to ten minutes to brown and then we're going to chuck in the courgette and the mushrooms. Yippee. Okay, so they've gone nice and golden brown. What I'm going to do now is chuck in my mushrooms and the courgette. So pick them up and chuck them in. Super duper, that's in there. So let's just get a big stir all, of, all around together. Let that heat really sweat out the courgette and the mushrooms. And continue to cook it through. My water's starting to bubble. Nearly time to get the spaghetti on, but we need to do something with our eggs and our cheese, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Right, with your cheese, it's very simple. All I want you to do is get a grater and just grate it up. So, uh, grate your cheese, please. Yeah. Kaboom. So there's a big pile of grated cheese, and that's surprising how much is there, considering it's only a teeny little block, and it just went boom, like that. So just let that sit there for just a minute, and you split it in two in a little bit. Speaking of splitting in two, with your eggs, what I'm going to do is break it down the middle, and then pass the yolk, so the white drops through, and with the white, you can just chuck it away, you know. You just want to keep two egg yolks and put them in a mixing bowl. So, these two egg yolks are going to jump into there. Ready? Brilliant. So those yolks have jumped in there, and they just need to sit there for a little bit, chilling out, because you're going to mix them with your cream and your milk any minute now. Let's get our spaghetti on, and then we'll move on to the mushroom bit, which is sizzling away right there. Smelling darn good. Loving it. Right, so with this spaghetti, we're going to do something cool. See how I've got it nice and flat? I saw this on Jamie Oliver's show once before, and I've done it before. So I twist it like that, plonk it in the middle of your pan, and it makes a spiral effect like that. So it'll cook nice and evenly as it works its way down. All good. Let's move on to the mushrooms any minute now. Right, guys, the spaghetti sank to the bottom. It should take about nine to ten minutes to cook, so we're loving that. It's going to be ready any minute now. I've just plonked my garlic into that mixture there. It's gone super soft. We can take it off the heat any minute now. We need to grab ourselves a mixing bowl to make the creamy bit now. Cha-ching, so do that. Right, for this bit, grab half of your grated cheese two egg yolks, your milk, pour that in, you can even do the long pour like Tom Cruise in cocktail if you want, and finally your cream, all that in there, lush. Right, grab yourself a whisk like this, 
and mix it all together. We'll season that in a minute, yeah. Right, I've just finished whisking that and chucked in a load of ground black pepper, so I'm just going to whisk that a teeny bit more. I'm taking the spaghetti off the heat, because it's about to be drained. It's ready, my friends. I just went, and it's nice and soft. Al dente, if that's what you want to call it, if you're Italian, or al dente, if you're common. Right, the ham is going to go in this bit. Let's do that. Like so, the ham is in there, it's hiding, but if I whisk it together, you can see it just sat there. So when we pour it all in, the ham's going to cook together for about one or two minutes with it. Let's drain our spaghetti now. Out right, you come, mate. Funky, so that's all drained off. I didn't let it get completely dry, kept it a teeny bit moist. So what we're gonna do is pick that pan up, like so. Dump that straight in there. Beautiful, now pour our sauce in. Wow. And let's give that a blooming good stir around together. Right guys, that's been on the heat for about three or four minutes and it started to thicken this sauce. The egg's doing its thing as well. Looking darn good, I'm gonna give that one last season. Get on the plate and see what it tastes like. Yippee. Right, that's a little bit of seasoning as I say. This is completely optional, remember? I like to have mine on a nice pepper kick anyway. And it probably wouldn't be a decent carbonara without it apparently, but you can always add sugar if you've got a sweet tooth. That probably won't taste very nice. Right, stir that through. And we're ready to go. So grab yourself your chosen dish to eat out of. Lovely, nice big helping of your carbonara. Like so, now just plonk a nice big pile of grated cheese on top. Amazing, let's go for it. Right then, let's see what it tastes like. Got some on my fork, give it a little blow, because it's so hot, you know, all the small print and that. Put it in. Mmm. Wow, that is amazing. I've made a couple of carbonaras before, but the recipe was a little bit more advanced than that. And to be honest, the recipe being simpler, I really like the taste of that. So. Have a good for yourself, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again on the next video. Yeah. High five!